I've got some great books here and some coffee. Coffee, anyone? Coffee, water, great books. All right, would you care for some coffee? Sure. That's all right. Is black all right? That's all I have, actually. Fine. But I do have a great book here for you. This is called For the Children's Sake. It's by Susan Schaefer McAuley. McAuley. It's about recovering, really, the Charlotte Mason style of education. Would you care to take a look at that? that I think you're going to love it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Coffee? Water? Hello? Yes, I have a great book here for you that I thought you might be interested in. This one is called Begin Here, uh, The Forgotten Conditions of Teaching and Learning. It's one of my top 55 books that I recommend for classical educators. It's by Jacques Barzlin. I think you'll really enjoy it. The essays are timeless. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. You're very Barrett. welcome. My pleasure. Coffee? Coffee, I was thinking you might enjoy learning more about the model of the Middle Ages. And this book by C.S. Lewis is all about that. It's called The Discarded Image. It's fantastic. He wrote it for people who are students of medieval literature but needed to understand the medieval model of the, of the cosmos in order to understand literature. And, of course, it's by C.S. Lewis. Of course. You're going to enjoy it. Thank you so much. Yeah, tell me what you think after I you've will. read it. Enjoy the coffee. Coffee, anybody? Oh, no one's there. Coffee. Nuts? No, I don't have any nuts. We're just about ready to land. Uh, hello? Hi there. Oh, you already have a cup of coffee, so you don't need any coffee, but you might need a great book. Oh, okay. This book is particularly interesting. It's a, it's a new book. It's written by uh, Daniel Wellingham. He is a cognitive scientist at UVA, and he's, thought, he's done a lot of study about how students actually learn from a neurological perspective, and it actually comports with the classical model of education. So I think you're going to enjoy this. It kind of bridges the traditional model to modern research. Uh, so enjoy that and you. enjoy your coffee that you already got Thank from you. elsewhere. <laughs> Pleasure. Coffee, anybody? Boy, no one's there. How about here? Hello there. Coffee sort No, you drink tea, if I recall. Yes, my sure. But you know, if, since you don't drink coffee, I wonder if you might be interested in some Benedictine liqueur. Right out of the bottle? Yeah, well, well, I do have a glass okay. for you. Yes. Yeah, it's a rather big it. glass. Well, yeah. let me just give that to you. Thank I know you. it's the middle of the day, but Excellent. just sip a little Never bit. Never too early. But I've got a great book for you. This one that's on the top of the stack comes to mind. It's called Poetic Knowledge, The Recovery of Education by James Taylor. And what he's doing in this book is recovering the idea of a kind of education in wonder a kind of poetic, intuitive approach to education. You know, we tend to think of education as being largely just a rational affair of collecting data and so on. Well, it's partly that, but it's also poetic. He'll introduce you to that tradition. You're going to love it, especially being such a rationalist yourself. Thank you. All at the same time? Well, maybe the Benedictine first. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Yeah, coffee, anyone? Coffee? Benedictine? No, the Benedictine's gone, I'm afraid. Looks like everything's empty. I guess I'll just have to... Feast on these books myself and my